my name is Greg Merrill with Oklahoma State University Fire Service Training, and this will be a uh, training video on doing throw bags in the swift water rescue environment. So what we're going to have is our first victim coming downstream. So as once we're uh, as we're doing swift water rescue, when we're utilizing throw bags, you can see our rescuer is wearing the proper PPE, has helmet, has a Type 5 PFD on. He's throw bag. He's ready to go. As the victim approaches. He's gonna holler out rope for our victim. You're gonna throw the rope beyond the victim, not to him. If I do miss the victim, I wanna miss upstream, not downstream of the victim, because the rope will move faster than our victim itself. Like I said, mo one of the most important things by our throw baggers is to make sure they are in the proper PPE. Once you're anywhere near the water, you can possibly get in the water and become a victim yourself so we will be properly outfitted. You'll see our thrower will throw beyond the victim. With the rope, he's hollering rope, and if he misses, he misses upstream of the victim or right over the top of him. You can see now our victim will take the rope, place it on his opposite shoulder. You always put your head the direction you want to head using ferry angles in the water, and the current will push you to the shore. We also have our secondary rescuer helping to vector the line with to bring it across eddy lines or any kind of helical flow that is affecting our victim making it to the shore. One of the most important things you need to do as a rescuer, identify yourself as a rescuer. They're not sure who you are possibly. So you wanna identify rope, rope, rope. The rope is coming their direction. Tell them to hang on tight. And again, throw the, throw the rope beyond them. And as you can all see, a perfect throw here. Moving to his opposite shoulder, head towards river right, the direction he wants to head, utilizing ferry angle and our properly braced rescuer holding on to the throw bag itself. Also, when you throw the throw bag, it's not just important to throw it in the water, it's important to pay attention to the hydrology. So we have a significant hydraulic right here in the middle of the, in the rapids. And this hydraulic, where is our victim gonna be? The victim be pulled under at this time. So we wanna make sure that, the, not to throw it there because the victim will not be able to access the rope. Either perform the rescue before the hydraulic or directly after it and we always want to circulate our victim into an eddy. That's an area of refuge on the backside of an object and gives us a safe area for our victims and for us to make access to them. Another thing is important, if you do have multiple ropes on scene as your downstream safeties, throw the victim one rope at a time because it gets confusing for the victims and the rescuers themselves. So make sure you throw one rope. If that rope is not effective, then throw an alternate rope. We confuse the victim and ourselves, we throw multiple ropes. Or as the victim approaches, again, our rescuer is ready to go. He's in the proper PPE. And our victim's gonna be in the water. We're gonna get him right through the hydraulic and make a good throw, throw him beyond our victim. Rope, rope, rope. And across the body, good catch to the opposite shoulder, proper fairing by our victim, pull him into an eddy, an area of refuge, and an area of safety. And again, I'm Greg Merrill with Oklahoma State University Fire Service Training. And I hope you enjoyed this instructional video on throw bags. And what we can teach you in just a few minutes here in this video, just think we can teach you in the 8, 16, and some or 40-hour classes. Thank you.